Alrighty guys, girls, and non-binary people, it's Saturday morning. We are in Millersboro, Kentucky. And we're going to Burger King to see if they have those new waffle sandwiches. That has been requested. So we're gonna go for it. And we're if if they've got bacon, we're gonna go for bacon first. Okay, we're gonna do it. Here we go. Oh, there they are. They have them. Uh Give me the uh, maple waffle sandwich bacon. You want just, just bacon? A, yeah, just a sandwich. The, okay. The bacon, whatever. Yeah. And what else? That'll be all. Okay. 370, please drive around. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Got a little bit of a hangover, people, from last night. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, people. I'm fried. So, anyway. Hello. How are you today? Good, how are you? Doing good. It's going to be a wonderful Saturday. It's going to be pretty out. There you go. You okay. have a good day. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Now, how do you beat that, people? That is some fast service. So it looks like the only thing left to do, people, is to go over here and park in the abandoned parking lot. And it's time, it's time to hit the music. Well, good morning, guys, girls, and of course, non-binary people. It's Reed here yet again. Now, as always, guys, we have our sidekick in the back. We've got the box back there looking sack sack. And let's not forget, we also have your favorite ISA-double-S-J-W. We got Alexa. Do you like maple syrup? Yes, I do. My favorite is Coombs Family Farms maple syrup. Hmm. What the hell is that? Combs. Oh. Well, anyway, guys, it looks like it's that time. It's time for yet another excited, insane, super official, thought-provoking, straight-edge food product review from YouTube's only, true, the one and only, 365-day-a-year food product reviewer. It's Reed. It's Reed. It's Reed. Today, guys, we have another request. We've got the maple bacon sandwich here from Burger King, a new breakfast item. That may have been the fastest drive through I can remember going through, people. I mean, that was quick. That was quick service. And it helps when there's no customers there. That helps a lot, too. But this is the maple bacon right here, people. They have a sausage and a ham. This item was requested, as I've said, three times now, I guess. But we're about to dive into this baby here and see what it's all about. It's going to come down to the bread. Thumbnail, it smells great, people. Looking forward to this. This is the first time I've had bacon in four days. All right, guys, now our drink of choice today is Coca-Cola. And uh, we're going to get right to this, people. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yep. It's hard to beat that, people, when they soak it in that maple syrup like that. I mean, that is something right there. Mmm. Now, I will say this, people. Um...
maybe it's the way they made the sandwich or whatever but uh, the maple bake the maple on this I feel like there's not enough syrup in the bread you can taste the maple of course but it should be a stronger flavor you know we reviewed those other maple sandwich April the maple uh, bacon sandwiches in the past and um, we reviewed somebody I don't know if it was Sonic or what we did some kind of uh, some kind of maple syrup something we reviewed but it was a lot better not a lot better but it just had more flavor now of course the bacon the egg and cheese on this is wonderful but you need to really get that maple syrup flavor we're not getting it with this uh, it's there but it just needs to be stronger maybe it's the way they made it this morning maybe they made it different you know maybe you'll go to a different Burger King now I'm gonna review the sausage and the ham later on we're gonna see if we get the same kind of a flavor from that but it feels like it's missing syrup the bread does Mm. It's still good though. It's still pretty good. Could be better though. Mm. In honor of the ex wife people and Malcolm. Oh! That's what Malcolm was doing to the ex wife people the night I walked in on them. Well, they were doing that and a number of other things, of course. But, um... Wow. Alrighty, people. Now, I'm going to be honest with you here. This falls short. It's still very good. And it may be different the next the next fast food place I may go. It may be better. It may be different. I'm going to see here right quick. See if I can find what I reviewed. Read Reviews Maple. I don't know. I can't find it. Let's see if we can find it here. It was, I don't know what it was we reviewed. Uh, I can't find it, people. I don't remember what it was. Wendy's Bacon Maple Chicken Sandwich. I don't think it was that. But anyway, guys, I think I'm thinking about the McGriddles, what it is. That's what I'm thinking about. This is kind of like they're trying to, trying to do like a McGriddle with this. That's kind of, that's what I'm thinking of was the McGriddle. But, um, it's good, people. Like I said, we just need more of the uh, maple syrup flavor on this one. I think the uh, the bun on this is a little bit overcooked too because it's hard on the it's hard on the corners here so maybe they overcooked a little bit and that messed it up. Maybe that might be what it was. But you know it's still good. I mean it's bacon, cheese, eggs. You can't really complain. That's how it is in America we're so spoiled we we critique every little thing like this. But uh, that's just the way it is, people. It's how it is when you're an American, the greatest country in the world. You can critique, critique anything. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It could be better, though. So, I'm going to give it 3.5 stars. I went into this review thinking, people, it could possi possibly be a five-star item. I was thinking this, this might be it. It's not, though. Fall short. It's still good though. It's on the verge of being a four out of five, which is still good, but 3.5 is all I can go with it. I do feel the bun is overcooked or the bread. The more I eat it, I can feel it's it's been overcooked. Been overcooked. It should be a little softer than that. And I should be able to get see I should be able to touch it, people, like this. And I should be able to get syrup on my finger but that's pretty much it guys highly recommend it it's pretty reasonable at four bucks because a lot of work goes into making this you know my bet is they have these buns of course yeah they're probably frozen and they just microwave them 
or something like that. Probably something like that. That would make sense. I'm, I'm sure they do that. But anyway, guys, that's the official review. Check it out. You're not going to be disappointed. You know, guys, I'll tell you what. I'm wasted from last night. Whew, man, Fire Emblem. I bet I played it four hours, people. One of the best games I've ever played. Fire Emblem, Three Houses for the Switch. Amazing. But uh, that's why I'm wasted. It's not because I'm on anything, people, because I'm straight edge. It's because of the video game. So anyway, guys, that's the official review. And I want to thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. And what better way to finish off the morning than with a nice sip of Coke? And we're ready to continue our day. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. We're going to see you tomorrow. We do it 365 days a year. Read reviews, read reviews. Party time, excellent. That's right, people. Every episode is a party all on its own. We'll see you guys, as always, tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I guess I should try to get more sleep. That may think, I think that might make a difference, yeah. But I still feel pretty good. I would say I feel, instead of being like a 10 out of 10, I feel like an 8 out of 10. Yeah. So anyway, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Take your prayer, wait a minute. Take, say your prayers and take, take your vitamins. Toodles. Good stuff right there, people. Wow. The blueberry flavor on those Cheerios. That is, that's well done. Uh, it's not overpowering, of course, you get the original Cheerios flavor also. And I don't know if people, it's just me or what, but it seems like when I got these as a kid, it seems like the oats was bigger or the cereal was bigger. It seems like it was bigger. But, uh, all that matters is the flavor is still there. And of course now cereals are all, they're all saying how they're no artificial flavors and no colors from artificial sources. And of course they're gluten free. I mean, all cereals are bragging about that now. 